Okay, so what am I doing today? I'm going to try to get some soldering done. That is the idea. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this PCB holder for what I'm doing. I'm going to have to go back to the old faithful. So here's my PCB holder. I'm definitely going to need to raise the camera up a lot more. I haven't actually soldered anything except for some cables since I started working. Because this is a uh, this is all new for me soldering this way. I mean, in this particular case, it's nice because I can still look directly at the board, but uh, I can also have this view now. Okay. First things first, I need to address this kit. This was supposed to be a passive molt. And the problem is, is that somebody stuck a passive molt sticker on the wrong thing. This is actually called a mix. Okay, so this is, this is just a, um, a triple mono mixer, something that I absolutely do not need. I probably should just send it back and get what I do need. But the truth of the matter is, is that I really didn't need the molt, the passive molt, anyways, I've got three passive molts. I'm already using all three of them. I got another one for the next two kits that I'm going to build, which I'm actually pretty excited about. So I'm going to build three kits, hopefully today. That's the goal. These are the other two. They're the same, and this is the, uh, the crossfader. So Synthrotech, if you're watching this, uh, somebody made a mistake. And they sent me the wrong, it says passive molt, but it's actually a mix, as you can see. No big deal, I'll, I'll take it, because it's, it's still a decent value. And really, I should get these resistors in first. Where did they go? Here they are. What even are these resistors? These are 100K. Let's see. Do I have an easy way to measure these? I really don't. I want to, though. Because it's, it's not a bad idea. And for this, it doesn't matter. I mean, this is just for the impedance matching, which 100K is, is pretty good. Man, I wish I could explain that a whole lot better in terms of what that is, but what you have to think about is you have to just think about, um, here the water analogy actually does hold, but think about it in terms of like pouring water out of a, okay, this is 92 point whatever, it's pretty low. These, these are kind of crappy resistors, that's okay. This is 93. As long as they're all around the same, then that's good. So hopefully this is gonna be no higher than 95. Okay, okay, good. This is about 95 too. So these are all roughly matched. They're, they're fairly close. But in terms of the impedance matching, think of pouring water from a bottle. And the water is pouring out of, of the, the opening of the bottle, whatever that's called, the opening. <laughs> so you want, you want maximum power transfer so that you know, like the water doesn't slosh back and forth when you're pouring too fast. And of course, if you pour too slow, well, you could be pouring out the water faster. Okay, how is this going to work? <laughs> it's not. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, I have never done this before. Now, the idea, what you can't see right now, is I have a TV set right here next to me. So I'm not going to look at, and my iron's not on right now, so. I mean, I'm going to look at it some, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is going to take some getting used to. Yeah, and this is where it's really nice to have a board holder. So you know what? Let's get that board holder out. Let's try it. This otherwise would be super, super, super simple to solder. But because I'm, I'm not looking at the board, I'm going to be looking at a TV screen instead. Not so simple anymore. 
but that's why I'm using the, I'm starting with these kits because they are so easy to use. All right, let me adjust my camera again. Now I should be able to do this better. Oh yeah, that's going to take a lot of getting used to. Right now I'm just trying to take this solder and just touch it in the hole right there. I'm just trying to get used to gauging where that is. Okay. Like here, like, like angling becomes an issue. Like right, like I'm not at the right angle. And I'm trying to, there we go, I'm trying not to look directly at what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to look over here. Oh boy. Because this is this with with the SMT that or the the uh, I can't talk right now. <laughs> Surface mount technology. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, okay. Let's 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 give this a shot. Um, this is one of those things where I, I, I'm, I'm tempted just to go like, just start adding flux because <laughs> I'm probably going to be overheating things a bit and that's not terribly awesome. Now we got a clean iron, but it's hot. Look at that. And that is a trip. I am cheating a little bit, sorry. The one thing I am not doing is I'm not uh, staring. Like normally I have, to, I have to take my glasses off to look at this. That is what I'm not doing right now. Let's take my glasses off to look at this. And that's nice. I do need to get a fume extractor, however. Because this place is not as awesome for that as my old place was. And the whole place, so much easier to get. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Kind of uh, went at the leg too much there. I did screw that up. Oh, well. Watch this. Some flux. Ooh. So this is a little piece of wire right here. We don't have to be fancy. There we go. We'll clean that up later. This is not easy to do, folks. It's a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Oh, 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 don't let you fall apart on me. But this is just day one. I think what I'm going to have to do is just cheat a little bit and kind of look 
at the board and then look at the screen. Whoa, where am I? <laughs> I got lost. See, I hung out there much longer than I want, want to, but I can't see. It's okay. Like they say, you need to get in and out in under two seconds. I mean, that's like a good rule of thumb if you can. You can stay a bit longer. It's just better if you don't have to. Because what you end up doing is you end up putting stress on the components. Stress that they're normally going to experience anyways, but you theoretically are shortening their lifespan by staying longer, having more heat put on them in that, that regard. So here I've got like, this is 700 degrees of heat. It's a lot. And these leads are not terribly awesome. I'll keep them anyways, though. I still save my leads because when I build my own circuits, I use protoboards, so I have to, like, use these for the traces. Okay. One more jack. Where did it go? There he is. Like I said, I just want to get this finished. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. I just don't get this kind of excitement from programming. Programming used to be very exciting to me. It, it still is pleasurable to me to some degree. It's just that, um, I don't know, something happened. And it's just really boring now. And I don't know if it's me that has changed or if it's the people that have changed. But, you know, I just don't enjoy it like I used to anymore. Okay, I think that's pretty clean. It is important to clean the flux off sooner than, than later. Because it's just easier to clean it off. Having said that, the technique that you just saw me use with this, this brush and these little sheets of paper here, Sid Heresy is the one that turned me on to that. And it's, it makes cleaning the flux off of this just so much easier. Let's take a look under the microscope. We still have some, like, you know, microfibers left, but they'll, they'll fall off eventually. Getting this in focus. This is a little bit of a chore, but those, all those look really, here we go, that's a good angle. Those look pretty decent. That one, that, so I can point at it. This one right here, this guy, not so good. It's a little blobby. But, you know. I think we're all right. Okay, now how can I test this? All I need are a couple pocket operators. So this is the output. Turn all these down. We have one here, number two here. Crank them up all the way. If I can. Excellent. Well, that's one kit now. Like I said, these are super simple kits to put together. 
And this will, would work a lot better with Eurorack because Eurorack, <clears throat> you've got those much hotter signals. I forget what the dB is, man. It's, it's crazy. It's like plus 10 dBU or something. I mean, it's nuts. It's, it's hot as fire coming out of those Euro, But that makes sense because we saw the, I mean, that was like a quarter of the volume that it should have been going through this. I kind of question, like, if the 100K resistors, like, I think I would be better with 10K resistors or even 1K resistors. That's something I might look into. I might look into replacing those. This is the crossfader. I'm pretty excited about this one. This is very difficult to do. But it's so cool to look at it this way. I am cheating a little bit. I'm looking at the, at the PCB like now. But as soon as I get it really close, I'm looking at, at, at the TV now. You, uh, running out of flux. All right. Not bad, not bad. I just need to watch out, make sure that I'm not going to hit this wire that's dangling from the, um, I'm not trying to say, from the LED ring on the camera here, which you can't see. Watch this though, you'll see it when it's gone. <laughs> Actually, that's not bad. That looks very interesting. It's kind of weird to watch the TV screen while I'm trying to snip this too. It's a little too high. Oops, yeah, I missed that one about landslide. What also, by the way, this is my first soldering string. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've tried to solder before because I haven't had the ability to film what I'm doing. And, you know, it's kind of like, what's the point of uh, trying to do this if you can't, if, if, if people cannot see what you're doing? So I think this camera was a darn good investment. Okay, I cheated on that one, <laughs> but it was just too close. I'm going to have to stop doing that, though, because when it comes time for the real deal, you know, nothing's holding that stuff in place. Let's do this. Okay, I did not cheat that time. I was worried that I was going to make, make a bridge. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras back. What I might do is actually add some flux because, again, I don't know what happened to my flux applicator. It disappeared on me. It might have gotten tossed, but 
Don't worry, my flux applicator was merely a toothpick. Super sanitary stuff, man. I'm just going to use a wire for now. But I'm going to add the flux because I'm going to be doing the old trick where you put the solder on the on the uh, tip first and then apply the tip, which is bad technique unless you've got a lot of flux. All right, not the best way to do it, but it is a way to do it. All right, let's get this cleaned up. Close to the edge by yes, constantly going in my head. All the parts, like I'm just jumping around from part to part to part in that song. Something like a 20 minute song. And I can't remember which drummer. Is it Bill Bruford or Alan White on that one? I want to say Bill Bruford. But it would not surprise me if it was Alan White. So I think Bill Bruford was already out of the band. Or that was his last, uh, last album that he performed on. Pretty sure it was Alan White though. Test time. Make sure they're cranked up. That works. Thanks for hanging out with me.